They're gonna. But is that a man abide. or a woman actually wants that that doesn't have the ability to dictate terms? She is running the relationship if he had if he's on her terms like that. Not necessarily. Men get into really? relationships all the yeah. time with women who don't do yeah. certain Anything. things. But do those? But do those and men? And they are made white. So hold on, I hold think on, hold what on. He's but saying but is do that those women not... actually respect their husband? Be honest. Realistically okay. speaking, if you can bully him around like that and say, "I am not going to do X, Y, Z," mm -hmm. I won't unless this happens. Who has the power? I don't think it's hold about on. who has the power. In that situation, you could say that she holds power. Okay, now, but there might be hold on. other hold on. rules. Hold on, that's yeah. very important. You're saying that she holds the power. Mm -hmm. What are women attracted to? When they have the power, or when the man has the power? When a man has the power. Ah, there you go. So wouldn't it be fair to say but that if she has the power and she's able to do it that? It might not apply to every single situation where she has the generally, power over the man. Generally, though, or if generally she's speaking. able to dictate something that important like marriage. Mm -hmm. Where that guy is going to put himself in a compromising situation and lose half his assets if this doesn't work out, I would argue she has an overwhelming amount of the power. She's able to bully him into marriage. <laughs> bully into marriage? That's absolutely what it is. She's I don't bullying like him into that marriage. Word. What? I feel like it's setting a standard. It doesn't have to be bullying. If he doesn't want if to get married. If you care about somebody, you're not thinking about, oh, I need to protect my. And I'm not saying, I'm saying this, take my words with a grain of salt or for a lack of better Trust words. Me, we do. You're not. No tea, no shade. Seem funny, Be right? quiet. I'm funny. I'm funny, right? <laughs> you, you are, go. you are. But in all seriousness, I think that sometimes women have a certain standard, and some men that may not live up to that standard are not prepared to hear things that they're not ready for or haven't experienced. They say, Well, listen, I'm okay with X, Y, and Z. Are you okay with that? It's important to meet a partner that's okay with your standards. It has nothing to do with saying, because I'm not, like you just said, I'm not dating a man that I can run over. I don't think that's attractive at all. Okay. I want you to lead, lead with reason and not be led by a blind horse. But at the same time, my standards shouldn't offend you. They should motivate you. Well, here's the thing. Uh, women are blind horses. And what I mean by uh -oh. this is that, yeah, the controversial thing. <laughs> women are blind horses. And what Sorry. I mean by that is that women are ruled by their emotions, okay? She might feel, I want to get married. It, with the translation, I want the wedding and I want the ceremony, etc. But do they want to actually be a wife? I would argue most women don't. And if a woman sits there and says, I'm only going to cook and clean for you or have these wife duties, if, if you elevate me to wife, that's ridiculous. That's ludicrous. Can you go into your job and say, promote me to CEO? Then I'll become that person. And then I'll person. become that person. No, but we live in a crazy clown world where women are able to dictate <laughs> terms and tell you, this is what I want, right? And then your dumbass is supposed to go ahead and give them what they want without them necessarily meeting their requirements. Could you imagine? I, I mean, if, yeah. Hold I on, have... hold on. Like, 